Well, here we are all set up, ready to image another beautiful afternoon. Now, fingers crossed, these clouds do dissipate and go away. Um, it's been a little while since I've uh, been able to do some astrophotography with the twins. So I'm setting up on a whim and hopefully, even if it does get a little bit cloudy, we can um, still capture some data um, for NGC 6188. I think it's 6188, pretty sure. Um, which is the, the Dragon's Nebula. Now, this is a, a nebula that I haven't um, photographed before and I've seen so many stunning images um, on the internet. So I figured, why not? Let's, let's give it a crack and see how uh, it turns out. <clears throat> now, I'm imaging with my uh, two Celestron RASA-8 telescopes with a ZWO-294 uh, mono and a QHY uh, 294 color um, pro camera. Now, the ZWO is going to be capturing uh, hydrogen alpha tonight through its astronomic max FR um, HA filter, which is a 6nm, and um, the QHY is just got a UV IR cut filter, so nothing special there. And hopefully by the end we can merge the hydrogen alpha data with the RGB data and we get a nice image. Fingers crossed. I really don't know how much data we are going to be capturing tonight. Um, I'm just going to let it run throughout the whole session. And one of the things that I've found very valuable when uh, imaging using the um, Eagle 4 uh, computer is that eye, the uh, sky quality meter. I've found that every now and then I'll see a, a dip um, in, the, uh, in the sky quality meter um, rating, reading, and I then inspect that image and it turns out there might have been some very faint cloud or if I set up Nina to keep imaging through to astronomical dawn um, I'll start to see the uh, the difference in the, the light um, as we start to approach the astronomical dawn and I'll delete uh, you know a fair bit of that data um, to go back to where it was where it was quite quite dark so having the Eagle 4 computer with the sky quality meter um, I've found to be very valuable in um, in part of my my workflow but let's see how we go tonight if there's a little bit of cloud tonight i'm sure the um, sky quality media will pick it up and i'll be able to delete these subs yeah what a another absolute beautiful night here in adelaide south australia i cannot wait so fingers crossed our imaging session goes well um, we'll just have to wait for it to get a little bit darker so I can then begin the polar alignment um, setup and we'll be off and running. I cannot believe the kind of night we've got so far. It is absolutely stunning. Not too windy beautiful and clear the clouds have all gone away so i'm really excited to see how tonight's imaging session is going to go all we need to do is uh, get our polar line happening and uh, we're on our way
Good morning everyone, it's just gone 5 o'clock and the sun's starting to rise, the imaging session is all done and the clouds are starting to come in. Um, I'm not too sure when the clouds uh, came in so it'll be interesting to see on the time lapse um, when that was. I've taken up a USB stick and had a quick look at my um, uh, the amount of frames that I've captured in tonight's uh, imaging session and I'm a little bit disappointed um, I've only captured about 200 frames total and I know that uh, some of them potentially be, will be thrown out depending on clouds and, and that sort of situation but I've roughly captured about 24 to 25 frames per hour um, with each each racer and uh, I do have uh, autofocus happening um, every 25 um, frames uh, so I know that would have slowed down the system a little bit but it's the um, capturing each uh, each frame and then the, the dithering every frame and then uh, waiting for the synchronized dither um, to happen so I am a little bit disappointed on how many um, images per hour I'm sort of capturing it should be a little bit more than that um, I should be capturing you know maybe about 45 minutes um, to 50 minutes per hour I should be capturing in images but uh, at the moment I was sitting around about 40 minutes per hour so I'll have to look into that next time um, see if we can fix that maybe adjust the autofocus um, to um, uh, only kick in in a temperature shift or something like that or the um, half width uh, full maximum sort of um, thing anyway I've uh, yeah just woken up so um, yeah forgive me <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty excited to see um, how this image turns out anyway uh, they're looking pretty good on the computer when I was capturing the, um, the subs so yeah very excited cannot wait all right well this is it for my uh, imaging session i hope you guys have uh, all enjoyed it if you have please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below and if you're new to uh, my channel and this is the very first video you've seen please check out some of my other imaging session videos or reviews or uh, anything else that i've sort of thrown up and uh, yeah hopefully that encourages you to hit the subscribe button all right, guys, so that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy, guys. See ya.